What's up guys? Today we are taking a look at the Wii Out here, though RDA. It was made in conjunction with Flawless and Wii Out here, though. Fresh Get a J Bud Tattoo. Let's dive up close and take a look at it. <laughs> Guys, so here we have the We Out Here Though RDA packaging. This is We Out Here Though. You see, I have the silver model. Comes with this nice, like, snakeskin type packaging. So you have the RDA. And you have a bag of spare O-rings and screws and such. Move that to the side. Here's the RDA. So the cap is 24 millimeter, but the internal is 22 millimeter. So actually makes it look really nice on the newer mods that are coming out that are 24 millimeter. Let's it sit flush. Pop it on the Manhattan V2. Just show you the inside. The airflow is non adjustable, has two, looks to be two millimeter or three millimeter holes on either side. Again, this is not adjustable. And you cannot change this drip tip. It's kind of set in there. I've tried to wrench it out. It just won't happen. The engravings, we have the peace sign type We Are Herdo fingers. And then the other side, we have the We Are Herdo logo. I really like this cutaway they have at the top. Makes the whole RDA less plain. Even though the deck is 22 millimeters around, Still has a deep, deep juice well. I just have some parallel 24 gauge static wire in there right now. As you can see, it's a two post, has decent sized holes. Um, I don't know if it'll fit Fuse Clapton's. I haven't really tried it yet. Um, they do look kind of small for that type of build, but you know, like I said, I haven't tried it. So, I mean, it could it could fit. And we look at the protruding 510 pin. So it is safe on all your hybrid mods. And then we have the bottom, which this one's actually cool because it has this screw right here to actually take this post out if anything ever happens. And then this one, obviously, the other post would come out of there. And we have my serial number, which is 728. I got it on the weekend it came out, so I have a pretty low serial number. Then we have the We Are Hero logo. And there we have it glows. Delivers a nice current. I haven't had any problems with it. So let's go ahead and wick this, juice it, and let's get back out to normal view. All right, guys, and we are back. Um, so let's talk about some pros and cons of this RDA. I have my notes to the side here. So pro number one, has a really deep juice well. Um, for you trickers and cloud chasers, I know that's important to you. Deep juice well, two posts, the posts are out of the way. Second pro, because of the smaller airflow compared to other RDAs, you get great flavor. This is actually the first small atomizer that actually gives me great flavor, and um, that's just my opinion. Also, the airflow that's given here, because they're wider apart, because they're wider apart and smaller, I believe it gives a lot more density to when I do O's. Um, these O-rings, I've never had a problem with these O-rings as well, super tight, nice and tight. See, I'm holding mod, copper mod with a battery with those O-rings. Another pro would be the Delrin the integration of the Delrin tip. So let's talk about some cons. Uh, for some of you, it might be too tight of the airflow. 
Um, I know there's a lot of atomizers with a lot more airflow than this. Um, I like it because I tend to like some less airflow um, because I do tricks as well. Um, I like a uh, tighter airflow to give me denser vape. Now, this might be a con to some people, to builders and such, but I personally haven't found it to be a con. Um, the post holes. The post holes are a bit small. You might be able to fit smaller uh, gauge fuse Claptons and Claptons and things like that, but alien wire and all that, you're probably not going to be able to do that on this atomizer. Now, another con that I was looking at, in my opinion, it's a con. Um, the screw heads tend to start to strip out a little easily, but I tend to wrench down on my screws a little more, so that might just be me. But again, I would like to see a little better screws. Obviously, everybody's subjective, so just take that with a grain of salt. So my final thoughts are, overall it's a great atomizer. Um, I've known Bud Tattoo and Fresh Gated Air for a while now, and I know uh, back a few months ago when they said they were going to be dropping an RDA, and they, you know, just didn't happen, didn't happen until um, around the Connecticut time, uh, National Vapor Expo Connecticut, when they dropped it, and I was super excited to grab it. Um, I did purchase this myself. Now, I think this atomizer is geared more towards trickers, just because Fresh Gator J is more of a tricker than anything. Um, he did a really great job on designing this RDA for that. Now, if he did it to that specification, I don't know, but it, it is really great for trickers. It has a really great juice well. I love that and great flavor comes off of this RDA. I haven't seen anybody try anything like this. And like I said, the Delrin tip on the top just put it over for me. Now, personally, I wish the engravings on the silver edition were like black or a little darker because you can't really see it with the silver but on the other ones the other colorways they look really good now let's talk pricing uh, you, as Grim Green says you don't I don't think you really need your vape budget hands because this atomizer is coming out at $40 retail on Flawless Vape Shop's uh, website which is flawlessvapeshop.com $40 uh, honestly, that's a great price for what it is. Um, honestly, I think this could go for upwards of sixty to seventy dollars. It's a great atomizer, um, in my opinion. Now it comes in red, blue, black, white, and silver, like the one I have. Um, like I said, forty dollars. You can't really go wrong. With that being said, that is my overview slash review of the We Out Here Though RDA. Be sure to check my social medias in the description below, and we'll see you in the next one.